Aaliyah Dana Houghton, simply known as Aaliyah, was an American singer, actress, dancer, and model. She has been credited for helping to redefine contemporary R&B, pop, and hip-hop, earning her the nicknames the Princess of R&B and Queen of Urban Pop. Born in Brooklyn and raised in Detroit, she first gained recognition at the age of 10 when she appeared on the television show Star Search and performed in concert alongside Gladys Knight. At the age of 12, Aaliyah signed with the Jive Records and her uncle Barry Hankerson's Black Round Records. Hankerson introduced her to R. Kelly, who became her mentor, as well as lead songwriter and producer of her debut album, Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. The album sold 3 million copies in the United States and was certified double platinum by the Record Industry Association of America. After facing allegations of an illegal marriage with Kelly, Aaliyah ended her contract with Jive and signed with Atlantic Records. Aaliyah worked with record producers Timbaland and Missy Elliott for her second album, One in a Million, which sold 3 million copies in the United States and more than 8 million copies worldwide. In 2000, Aaliyah appeared in her first film, Romeo Must Die. She contributed to the film's soundtrack, which spawned the single Try Again. The song topped the Billboard Hot 100, making Aaliyah the first artist in Billboard history to achieve this goal. After completing Romeo Must Die, Aaliyah filmed her role in Queen of the Damned and released in 2001 her self-titled third and final studio album, which topped the Billboard 200. On August 25, 2001, Aaliyah died at the age of 22 in an airplane accident in the Bahamas, where she shot the video for her hit song, Rock the Boat. The overloaded aircraft she was traveling in crashed shortly after takeoff, killing all nine on board. The pilot was later found to have traces of cocaine and alcohol in his system and was unqualified to fly the aircraft designated for the flight. Aaliyah's family later filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the aircraft's operator, Black Hawk International Airways, which was settled out of court. In the decades since her death, Aaliyah's music has continued to achieve commercial success, followed by several releases, and she has sold an estimated 24 to 32 million albums worldwide. Her accolades include three American Music Awards and two MTV VMAs, along with five Grammy Award nominations. Billboard lists her as the 10th most successful female R&B artist of the past 25 years and the 27th most successful in history. Florence Ballard was an American singer and a founding member of the Motown vocal female group, The Supremes. She was considered a singing cessation and sang on 16 top 40 singles with the group, including nine number one hits. After being removed from The Supremes in 1967, Ballard tried an unsuccessful solo career with ABC Records before she was dropped from the label at the end of the decade. Ballard struggled with alcoholism, depression, and poverty for three years. She was making an attempt at a musical comeback when she died of a heart attack in February 1976 at the age of 32. Ballard's death was considered by one critic as one of rock's greatest tragedies. Ballard was inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the Supremes in 1988. Tammy Terrell, born Thomasina Winnie Fred Montgomery, was an American singer and songwriter, widely known as a star singer for Motown Records during the 1960s, notably for a series of duets with singer Marvin Gaye. Tammy's career began as a teenager, eventually signing some Motown Records in 1965. With Marvin Gaye, Tammy scored seven top 40 singles on the Billboard Hot 100, including Ain't No Mountain High Enough, which was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1999, Ain't Nothing Like the Real Thing, and You're All I Need to Get By. Tammy's career was interrupted when she collapsed into Marvin Gaye's arms as the two performed at a concert at Hampton Sydney College on October 14, 1967, with Tammy later being diagnosed with a brain tumor. Despite Tammy's optimism, her tumor worsened, requiring more surgeries. By 1969, Tammy had retired from live performances altogether, as she had been ordered by doctors not to perform due to her tumors. Motown issued Tammy's first and only solo album, Irresistible, in early 1969. She was too ill to promote the recordings. Because of ongoing complications due to brain cancer, by early 1970, Tammy was using a wheelchair, experienced blindness and hair loss, and weighed only 93 pounds. Following her eighth and final operation on January 21, 1970, Tammy went into a coma. 
She had eight unsuccessful surgeries before dying of the illness on March 16, 1970, at the age of 24. Best known for her hit song, Loving You, Minnie Riperton was a soul singer in the 1970s. On August 24, 1976, Riperton revealed on The Tonight Show that she had undergone a mastectomy due to breast cancer. At the time of her diagnosis, Riperton found out her cancer had already spread to the lymphatic system, and she was given about six months to live. She continued touring in 1977 and 1978, and she became the national spokeswoman for the American Cancer Society's 1978-79 to campaign. During the recording of her final album, Minnie, her cancer progressed to the point that she was in a great deal of pain. Extreme lymphedema immobilized her right arm in early 1979. In her final singing appearances on television, most notably on The Mike Douglas Show, her right arm remained in a fixed position during her performances. By mid-June, Ripperson was confined to bed. She entered Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles on July 10th. On Thursday, July 12th, at 10 o'clock a.m., she died in the arms of her husband. Joanne Borgella was an American singer, plus-size model, and reality television personality. She was signed to Wilhelmina Models in New York City, Miami, and L.A. She rose to fame after becoming the first winner of Monique's Fat Chance pageant as Miss FAT in 2005 and a top 24 contestant on the seventh season of American Idol in 2008. She had been the face of Tord, Ashley Stewart, Walmart, and Kohl's department store, and appeared in advertisements featured in Seventeen, Essence, and In Style magazine, among others. She was also one of the faces of Procter & Gamble, a new campaign that was directed at the African-American women called My Black is Beautiful. In October 2013, Borgella posted a video stating she had been diagnosed with cancer. She said she was suffering from severe headaches, and upon going to the emergency room to determine the cause of those headaches, discovered that cancer had spread to her brain. Borgella died on October 18, 2014, at age 32. Simone Battle was an American singer, dancer, and actress from Los Angeles. She was a finalist on The X Factor in 2011 and a member of the girl group GRL from 2012 until her death in 2014. The group was best known for their singles Vacation, Ugly Heart, and Wild Wild Love with Pitbull. Outside of her music work, she starred in several music videos and the film We The Party alongside Snoop Dogg. Battle made her television debut in 2006, having small roles on shows including Zoe 101 and Everybody Hates Chris. In 2008, Battle was featured as the main character in the Mary Mary music video, Get Up. She also appeared as a background dancer in the Cali Swag District music video, Teach Me How to Dougie, in 2010. In 2011, she auditioned for the American singing competition, The X Factor, in front of judges Simon Cowell, Paula Abdul, Cheryl, and L.A. Reid. Battle sang When I Grow Up by the Pussycat Dolls. After receiving three yeses from the judges, Battle made it through to boot camp. She was mentored by Cal after becoming one of the top 32 finalists in the girls category. In August 2012, Battle was initially part of the Pussycat Dolls' proposed new lineup after their past members disbanded in 2010. Her addition to the group was announced during the opening of the Pussycat Dolls' dollhouse. It was later announced in February of 2013 that they would continue instead of the next generation of the Dolls as a group called GRL. She was found dead on September 5, 2014, at the age of 25. The cause of death was ruled as suicide. A spokesperson for battle stated that she suffered from depression due to financial issues.